Hi, this is uh, Pastor Wes Johnson. I'm sharing again another vlog from Living in Uncertain Times. And I just want to welcome you to, the, to this vlog. Today, I'm kind of excited because I'm going to share with you some wise words from my older brother, Dirk Johnson. Yes, I did say wise words. He is a wise brother. Uh, Dirk works for Crew, which has uh, been known as Campus Crusade for Christ in the past. He works at the headquarters, which is in Orlando, Florida. Oh, it's so tough. I know it's so tough uh, for him to work down in Orlando, Florida, have to live down there. But uh, he, he, he puts up with it anyway. But well, a week or so ago, he wrote a blog titled a virus worse than COVID. It was, it was a really good blog. And, and if you're interested, I can give you the, the, the link to it. Just um, email me or, or contact me. I'd be glad to give you that link. But I want to share basically a lot of the stuff that, that he shared in, in that blog. And there's just really some great thoughts. He wrote this. He said, another widespread virus has swept the nation, infecting more than even COVID-19. And that virus is named worry. <laughs> worry comes in multiple strains with symptoms ranging from low level to excessive. You know, how true that is, how true he is in saying that the, that virus is worry. And so I want to ask you, have you been infected with this virus called worry? Huh? You know, I think many have. Many struggle to not let it have that upper hand as we go through this difficult time. There are also many who uh, who worry, but they you know they say, "Oh, I don't worry. I don't," de and they deny it. Now it is important for us to be aware of worry's contagious effects when we watch too much news, right? Coverage of it, or read too many articles, and we just begin to fixate on COVID nineteen. Well, Dirk goes on and shares the vaccine for the contagious virus of worry. This is what he said. He called it actually a spirit-led vaccine, and I like that part. He writes, the Apostle Paul penned his famous words, don't worry about anything, in his letter to the Philippians. His words were in response to a rift between two important members of the Philippi church. Now, Paul's famous words not only helped reconcile the two, but it was the immunity boost. I love that term that he uses there, the immunity boost for each believer's spiritual and emotional health. And then he goes on quotes Philippians 4, 5, and 7, one that we know fairly well. The Lord is at hand. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Wonderful passage, important one for us at this time too. And Dirk goes on and to ask this question, while you take precautions to guard against catching COVID-19, he asks, what precautions are you taking to guard against worry? He goes on and says, it's not a matter of just not being anxious, we have to replace that natural anxiety with something that is better. Paul says you must guard your heart, in other words, your seed, seat of emotions, and your mind, which is what you think and dwell on. And then he offers a practical prevention plan, prayer and gratitude. You know, again, Dirk is exactly right. The vaccine against worry, whether during this crisis or at any other time, is to pray about everything and give thanks to God for everything. Pray about everything and give thanks to God for everything. The reason prayer and gratitude counteract worry is because we place everything in the hands of someone, in other words, God, who can protect and provide and bring about whatever needs to happen. We, you know, you and I, we have little power over many situations in this life. And those are the things that we worry about, right? We have no power over them, but God does. If we truly trust God and we place all in God's hands, we can be certain that what needs to happen will happen. And we just trust that. Dirk goes on to say that our emotional and spiritual health is dependent on applying the spirit-led vaccine of prayer. 
And, but he shares two motivations that don't benefit us when we talk to God. And these are motivations, I believe, that we oftentimes pray um, having. In other words, we pray about with these. We cannot pray to impress God. You know, I think there's times when we do that especially when we're with other people, we're kind of praying, thinking that we're gonna impress others, but we wanna pray and look good with God. And secondly, he says, we don't pray to inform God. And I think a lot of times that's what we're doing. We're telling God, this is what needs to happen, God. Now, I understand this, you know, you need to do this, God. I ask that you would do this because I understand the situation better. Well, that's not true. It's just plain not true. Again, Dirk is exactly right over these two things because you see, prayer is not about drawing attention to ourselves because prayer is an acknowledgement that, that you and I, we are helpless in this situation and we completely need to depend upon God. And since we are helpless, we have nothing to inform God about. God already knows. How do we think that we can inform God or we understand things better than God does? When we pray, we're saying, God, we need you. Prayer is this acknowledgement that we are dependent on God, is an act of faith and of trust. Dirk said, we pray to invite God into our lives. And that's why we pray. God, come into my life, protect and provide for me as you, only you can do. I can't do it. And this inviting God into our life is telling God, I can't change the situation or protect myself fully in the situation. I need and I depend on you, God. That's what God wants to hear. God wants us to depend upon God. This then leads us to that gratitude and thanking God as an expression of faith and trust. No, we don't have a vaccine for COVID-19 yet, but we do have a vaccine for worry. And that is prayer and giving thanks to God. Peace and towels. It's Pastor Wes.